Let's just develop the night. See this pawn, it's got nothing supporting it apart from this pawn. Take with the knight. Bring the bishop out a little bit. Okay, let's refrain. Let's just do this horrible tension thing. Let's take with the bishop. Bring the bishop back. It's just the queen on it at the moment. Now he's got the pawn on it at the end. So, keeping the tension. Let's keep the tension. Let the opponent do the taking. What is that all about? So if the pawn takes, this pawn can't take. So x-ray the bishop to the queen. It's going for it anyway, so we'll x-ray still. Oh, the bishop comes into life. Interesting. So that must have lost them a little bit of tempo. Let's go here. See, exchanging the queen off. Looks like he might be doing. Taking too long? No, they're not. Okay, right, so we've got a few pieces developed out. What's it looking like? Knight's hovering here. Doesn't have it have anything major. Bishop's got, excuse me, diagonal through, but again, nothing major. Yeah, we didn't think you were going for it because he took so long. Any checks on his king? No, queen can come here. Holding the bishop to ransom, so he has to push the pawn. Do I need to just go and castle first? Let's go and castle first. Doesn't look too deadly. Queen's going to the other side of the board. We don't really like them apples. Maybe if we squish here, but then the pawn just drops. Then we go and attack the queen. Yep. Yeah. Let's go here. Baiting. Let's attack the queen. Maybe take with the pawn because it's going to be on the knight. So the knight has to jump around. We could go here as well. Or take with the knight. Be on the bishop. Ooh, options and choices. Doesn't want to exchange. I'm hoping they're going to going to rule the day that they're going greedy munching and stuff it's going for the bishop He's still got this diagonal we can't get through um, would be nice if that knight wasn't there and get this sort of situation but we haven't so what can happen queen can come here it's got nothing major can come down to protect the pawn and the bishop what's his knight got Let's come back down. Time is going to run out. Five minutes. So we're just swinging here. Uh, just swinging here, seeing what this queen wants. It's not obviously going to exchange, is it, from the, the habits it's showing. It's not going back back there because it'll get taken. Oh, it's taken. It's only taken because he's doubling our pawns here. It's just x-ray through to the pawn. Ownership of the file is crucial for the rooks in this sort of end game looking thing. Let's move the pawn out of the way. I'm going to attack the other pawn. 
Just looking for the forks that the knight's looking at. Can bring it down now, we're attacking both pawns. Just double the rooks. It's getting taken if he jumps anywhere funky apart from here. <laughs> Right, so he's looking for this, but the bishop is protecting, so this pawn is going to want to try and get the bishop out of the way. Okay, right. Hit the pawn. I've got space here with the bishop. Oh, no, I didn't even see that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, damn nice. It's beating the pawn down, but it's not happening. When he drops, then the rook can come here and attack the pawn. Or the king, whichever. This rook's looking to come here. So if we push, give them something to think about. then this bishop's not going to stay there for too long, is it? Mm -hmm. So maybe we need to get the bishop around here, maybe attacking there, Paul. See, so two linked pawns are supposed to be like having a rook, in a sense, in the end game. If we can work them correctly. Looks like it's just going to start peeling pawns off. So if, if, it's all ifs here, if we're fast enough or not. Because it does have like a few pawns ready to go marching for a promotion but we have to just constantly keep supporting these so that's kind of a slower process does this king come back to yeah exactly push Let's push this one because the king's wanting to get here. Oh, he's coming for the bish. Let's move the king up. Thinking if he is coming for the bish, we can still push. We might squeeze in, I'm not sure. Or does he get rid of these pawns? I'm closing my eyes. He's coming down for it, and also he's probably coming around the back as well. I was thinking bring the bishop here, protected by the king. But if we move up, 
maybe his rook comes across, then we come and support the pawn. It's not realistic you're going to take the bishop, is he? So I'm going to push. And plus, if it does get promoted, it gets a check on the king. So it's got to be coming here. King comes here. And then he's probably just going to take the pawn off the board. Or just do that. Right, let's move the king up, stopping any action from his king. And they've resigned. So it kind of goes to show, oh, they want a rematch. Kind of goes to show that <clears throat> just because you're down like the exchange, shall we accept it? Let's accept it. Just because you were down the, we were down the exchange, it didn't mean we were actually losing. We, st we still fought on and found half decent position. So that's good. But obviously we're gonna, we're gonna suffer the wrath of the chess gods here now because this play is going to be a little bit mad. So I'm going to push this pawn and just develop the knight, try and keep it as simple as possible. Just come here, castle, I'm trying not to do any blunderous stuff, so he's targeting this area already. Spring the bishop. Hmm. We push the palm. What's his queen sitting here? Yes, yeah, so they're playing fast. Fast and loose. Let's attack the queen. <coughs> Excuse me. It's coming for a squish around our king area. Knight can attack the queen. Queen can attack the queen. Is it too much? Not got many squares to go to, so he might have to exchange, might he? Oh, he's not wanting to do any of that. Is there something better for us then? I think we just take, don't we? Bishop takes. Yeah, I think we just take. Could swing through, attacking, attacking, so knight takes. His knight takes, pawn takes, knight's protecting the bishop. Going to attack. Let's take. He might not take with the knight. It's like he's wanting to be fancy. Okay, pawns on the knight. Knight goes to attack, defend, attacks from the back. So if we go here, he comes down for the rook and the pawn. So there's nothing else, is there? Yep, so he comes here to attack the rook and the pawn. Just bring the rook across. Now he starts challenging. Obviously, we're not going to win this. It's a rematch. Yeah, we've been lucky with some rematches, but um, let's attack the knight here. 
Let's attack the knight again. It's whirlwinding. Maybe here. It's protected. Protected. Let's bring the rook across now. Rooks like the open files. Uh, okay. This knight's got no protection on. Damn it. Alright. So. Could go up and attack. Trying to get around the back. It's a bit long winded, isn't it? Hmm. Knight can't protect the pawn, can it? What can it do? Can it do something? Knight, pawn takes. Knight up. Knight, pawn takes. Pawn takes. Hmm. Precarious position. I think we go. He takes, but then his pawn can take and have a check on our king. Knight can take, but then his rook can come down, put a check on the king. Oh, I don't like this. This doesn't look good. So if we go here, push, his rook takes, we go up and attack, but then his knight's his rook. Oh, this is not good. I'm going to bring the knight across and do a dance, but we won't have time because this pawn's going to put a check on the king. So we're going to have to take the pawn. So we're going to have to take the pawn. And attack the rook. I did say it was going to be coming here. Yeah. So I knew they'd come out stronger. You know, they're just going to be mad. I want to equalise. I can't go out like that. So, yeah, we're accepting it. Could go and attack the rook. Let's just attack the rook. Um, I've given up any hope, really. Rematches are a stinker. Probably just coming to support. Do we take? Can we just take? No harm or foul. Oh. Let's just take. Let's attack him. Not sure what happened there. Don't mean we're winning anything. It's just that I thought it was going to go a bit different. I thought we were definitely getting squished, squished. Doesn't look like they're exchanging, probably bobbing here or bobbing back, whichever. So the knight looks like it can do a bit of jumping. Or maybe not to there because then it just um, x-rays through. So we could attack the pawn. Is there something, is there a problem with my knight being there? Has it got a check on me? Don't see it yet. So attack one of these pawns. Oh, wow, giving him things to think about. So I'm going to hit his knight. I think he's just going to go here. He's trying to play clever. I'm hoping it backfires. Rematches. Oh, he's taken. So we're owning this file for a split second. But he could come back. Let's hit this pawn. Hit this pawn. Let's hit this pawn. Take, he comes down, he's on the pawn, but um, he can't take because our rook is protecting. Alright, so how do we want to do this? Push.
push, push. King's moved out of the way. Just push this one, get this one out of the way. Drops to come round to attack the pawn. No, nope, goes that way to put a check on to get the pawn here. Just move the king across a bit. Can't go there, the rook will take. So basically, we're just bouncing up and down. Just having a look now to see if we can... Obviously, I'm not going to take because he'll just take here. I can do, actually. Let's bob up and down. Just have a look at the tail of the tape. If he does a, like a non-move like this or something. If we took... Oh, he's a sack move. <laughs> All right, so he's done that. If we took that pawn, he takes this pawn. We push, excuse me, we push onto this pawn. His rook comes behind. We push up. Then his rook comes behind this pawn. Rook comes here. He takes this pawn. We start pushing. Then he's got a passer himself. Okay, I'm going to take a risk. Let's go for it. So he'll get this pass here, push onto his pawn. Does he take or not? It's probably just coming here. Oh, does he go straight there? Mm, yeah, but if he goes straight there, we push. And then he comes back and attacks this pawn. We come across. He takes our pawn. We push this pawn. Moves his rook out of the way. Well, he moves it this way, actually, to be attacking our pawn. Okay, something like that. It's, it's ahead on time though. Don't like rematches at all. Why is it the comeback stronger? You know, oh, it's taken. But I'm not behind my pawn, so it's um, going to be a bit of a tall order, isn't it? Um, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a draw. So I've put a check on his king, push the pawn up one. Then he just comes behind the pawn. So I'm going to have to go in front of the pawn like this. Which isn't ideal, but if he does keep his king there, we might even get a bit of a... Ooh, okay. Shall we take? Take. I've already got a few seconds left now. Let's move the king up. If he's in open space, if we push, push, then we can do that type of thing. And I think they probably know that. So they need to hide their... Oh, they need to hide their king somewhere. It's going for a draw. Let's move the king. It's got repetition. I suppose it has in a way. Let's push. He's got to get that king. Oh, I think we've done it. This king's is so much space. He's got nowhere to hide, so we can get the king. Oh no, we can't. No, if he moves up one, we can't do it. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't done. Oh, that's a shame. He should have moved up one. And now he loses the rook. If the rook takes the queen, of course. Oh, all he had to do was move there. I don't know what I would have done after that. I would have just probably come and attacked this pawn or something. And then his pawn would have pushed down. He's protecting himself. Oh, we won a rematch. Oh, fantastic. 